Ah, oh, put that microphone away. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to the live stream and to everybody here already. Oh, I just need to adjust this slightly, I can see. There we go. Okay, so. Um, this is a... Whoops, microphone. So, today's plan is to continue the... Um, the upgrades to the uh, to my fiddle Corvette, the Cucumber. And uh, last time was on the 10 hour live stream where I just got my hands on uh, some new advanced plasma accelerators. And uh, that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to try them out. I have. Come on. Ah, there we go. Click into the game. Um, I have been testing them a little bit. Um, but. Um... And I, I kind of made up my, my mind a little bit about them, but uh, I still want to go out and give them a, another go. Um, so you also get a chance to uh, to see what you think about them. But before we do that, I just really quickly want to go over the current setup of my um, of my Corvette. Um, once I'm, a lot of people have asked me, uh, are you going to do a build video? When you're going to do it? And all I can say is yes, there will be a build video at some point. But I don't want to do a build video when I'm still changing things. Um, last time I did a build video, that build I used for um, um, for about half a year. Then I decided I want to do something different with weapons. Um, someone asked, what's the, what's the advanced plasma accelerators? I'll come back to those in five minutes and we'll be with the plasma accelerators. So, um, so yeah, build video will be out at some point once I am happy with it. Of course, I cannot say when that is. Uh, let's just very quickly run over the build. I run biweaves. I really like biweaves from come from PVE. I personally prefer them. You might like uh, uh, normal or um, prismatic, but I prefer biweaves. These have uh, reinforced on them. Um, then of course seven B shield cell banks. Always go B rate your shield cell banks because you have an extra charge. A fighter bay with two fighters. Don't really gonna use them unless I get uh, a particularly annoying small ship. Fuel scoop for moving around. Module reinforcements just in case I overheat. That should take some of the, the blunt of uh, of the module damage. Or if I lose my shield, it's not gonna destroy my modules right away. Um, fuel tanks. This might seem as like an odd choice to put fuel tanks on a uh, on a combat ship, but it will make sense in a little bit. That's the advanced plasma accelerators. Cargo, I always bring some cargo if I want to pick something up. Um, an advanced discovery scanner so I can uh, can scan a system if I move into a new system. And finally, hull reinforcements with heavy duty on both of them. There we go. Again, not going to go into too much detail here. I will do a build video later on. Um, core internals is pretty much A-rated, most of it. Um, only thing is lightweight alloy here with heavy duty. Because then you only get the benefits and no drawbacks because heavy duty has zero mass. So, power plant overcharged, 30 drive thrusters, long range frames of drive, no matter the life support. Um, charge enhanced power distributor. Considering changing this for weapon focused, um, we'll wait and see about that. Uh, but that's something I'll maybe change later on. Long range sensors. And, of course, the standard fuel tank right there. And then we're going to move on to the hard point, which is what we're going to what's going to be all about today. Um, and here's some of the things. Uh, here's some of the things that I've changed since my last build. I kept one of the multi cannons. I think it's this one that still have corrosive shell, but there's really no reason to have two of them because you don't get a lot extra because corrosive shell procs very easily. So that's why I changed the other multi cannon to um, emission munition and they both have um, extended magazine or heavy duty mag extended I think it's heavy duty magazine anyway um, extended magazine more ammo and high capacity magazine it says right there okay um, emission munitions that gonna increase their um, sensor or their thermal sen sensor signature making it easier to keep um, making it easier to keep lock on them in case they launch a um, it's not a heatsink. Um, Bobby asks, German or Sweden? Right in the middle, Danish. No, Danish. Anyway, so uh, that's the small hard points. Moving on, I have burst lasers. Um, 
Two of them have scramble spectrum. I ideally only wanted it on one of them, but I got it as a random roll. Uh, so I decided to get that, keep it on, on the other one. They all have long range because that 1000% increase, as you can see here, 1000% increase to damage fall off. So I go from the standard 500 meters where my damage will begin to, uh, to fall off all the way up to my... Um, Five and a half kilometers. You can see I got a little bit of reduction in rate of fire. That's because of the scramble spectrum. Um, but that is okay, I think. And scramble spectrum, of course, the one that um, triggers random malfunctions on the enemy ship. And here we have the advanced plasma, plasma accelerators, which is going to be the main focus of today's live stream. Um, and you can see here these are only class three, even though I put them in large charge. And that's because they actually do a, a ton of damage. Um, on paper, at least. Um, and they definitely are, I think, worth putting and consider putting in the large hard point of the Corvette. And because they can definitely do enough damage to, uh, to compensate for, uh, um, for the size. So, but the thing about the advanced plasma accelerators is you get them from, um, from the power, from the power play factions. I can't remember who, but I'll, can look it up in a bit. Um, and it's basically... Normal plasma accelerators that do less damage per shot, but they fire a lot quicker and then have a larger magazine. So, as you can see here, the magazine... I don't know if that shows. It does not. Uh, magazine, magazine. Here, ammo, ammo, ammo. Here, we, ammo clip size, 20. So I can load... Um, so I can load 20 sh shots at the time into the magazine. And then I put... And they, of course already fire pretty rapidly, point, um, point 0.8 uh, shots a second, but rapid fire I fire 1.4 shots a second, and with plasma slug I use a lot of, I use fuel to, uh, because I'm gonna run out of ammo in no time, um, so I use fuel instead to, um, to refuel, which of course means that I'm going to lose my fuel very quickly, which is why I've gone with those extra fuel tanks. So that's the build that I'm running right now, oh, just for good measures, Come on, back, and back, and utility mounts. One heat sink uh, in here, with uh, which is the increased ammo thingy, and the rest is shield boosters, shield boosters, and all shield boosters, all the way. And that brings, you can see my total shield should be right, uh, no, where is it, stats. There we go, you can see my total shields and uh, hit points. Ah. And hello to all the uh, new people coming in, hello and welcome. So um, so that's the thing, that's the whole uh, that's the whole build, and again, not gonna go into too much detail because I am probably going to change this in the future. So let's just launch this thing, let's get it out into space. Oh, it's just a no sound in the game. There it is. Uh, and let's try it out and see how the performance. I should probably say that I uh, I consider myself a below average uh, combat pilot when it comes to firing fixed weapons. So uh, if you're expecting to see some um, some fancy flying and some uh, some long range sniping shot with fixed weapons, then you're probably not uh, watching the right live stream. I am. Um, when it comes to fixed weapons, I'm not the best shot. Uh, I would happily admit that. But uh, I'm going to try to see if I can make the best of it anyway. Why are we moving? Oh, no pips to enter. There we go. Okay, let's find ourselves a... Oh, there's a conflict zone. I think... I think I want to go to a hash rest site. Just to begin, we will go to the conflict zone later on. <laughs> and Matt says Gimbal all the way. Yeah, I normally prefer Gimbal, but lately I have been experimenting with other uh, weapons, mainly fixed. Just because there's so much more... I mean, if you go Gimbal, you... For huge hard points, in my opinion at least, you basically have two choices, cannons or multi-cannons. Because, to be honest, fitting any huge lasers is gonna be very demanding. Unless you go efficient on all your weapons. So, again, that's kind of ties you in. You go for very, very specific build going efficient with all lasers. Which you can't do. Which is completely fine. 
Um, so that's why I would say if you're gonna go gimbal, you're very tied into. Oops, clear that ring. Uh, you're very tied into going with either the cannons or the um, or the multi cannons. And and to be honest, both are good builds. I mean, I have um, both have gimbals, huge two gimbal gimbal huge multi cannons of this with incendiary rounds, which is a very is a very, very effective build. Um, it's definitely definitely not a uh, not a bad build at all. Um, and they can uh, rip stuff apart, especially smaller ships don't last very long. Um, and the huge cannon build, where I would normally go sturdy and then high yield for the uh, special modification, that um, that's a very decent build. Again, not as efficient against smaller ships, but against larger ships, they are very, very good. So, um, again, it depends what you're planning to fight. If you're going to go into a, um, to a conflict zone, high intensity conflict zone, then it would probably fit the huge cannons. Um, are you gonna fight smaller ships in a compromised nav beacon? Go for the multi cannons. Um, but I'm still trying new things here with the with the plasma accelerators and they being fixed weapons. I would probably recommend using these against. Whoa! Don't watch chat. Um, I probably recommend using these against bigger ships again because they can be a little bit difficult to hit with if you're using uh, firing against smaller ships. Deeper Darkness asks, if anyone catch the live stream yesterday, I did catch a few hours of it. Um, like they were playing a, uh, some kind of role-playing board game, and I uh, also got a little bit of it. Uh, I can't remember what they were doing. Uh, they were doing uh, asking questions to uh, to some. No, who was it? I can't remember. They were asking questions. They were taking questions from people in chat. It was quite interesting. But I haven't been able to watch all of it, obviously. Okay. Hazardous resource extraction site. Here we come. <laughs> there we go. Oh, <laughs> I was waiting for that, Henrik. We. I can talk through what I do when I accidentally go too fast on approach. I always try to. Uh, I'll, I'll do it again. I promise you, I will. Uh, I will overshoot again, and I'll try to talk you through what I'm doing, what I normally do. But what I would do is, I would always try to go as close to the parent. Oh, look at that! Anacondas and type nines and pythons and dropships for days. <laughs> okay, let's get some weapons out here, and let's start with the burst lasers. Hello, Anaconda. Are you wounded? Elite Anaconda. Oh well, I have to start somewhere. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we are now in range, and because I have long range, I can actually do full damage from this kind of range, but I'm gonna try to do this properly this time. Let's get some fire on this guy. Try to keep behind him. Probably too far away to do that, to be honest. There we go, he opens up on us as well. Move some pips over the shields. You see, the lasers are doing decent damage. I mean, remember, this is an elite anaconda. And roll. Keep him below us so we can use our... Our big cannon on the bottom of the ship. And he's shield boosting. Okay, he's so close and he's not really moving a lot, so we're gonna switch our weapon over to the advanced PAs. And... Eat plasma! See, he didn't like that. Now he's moving out of the way. And we're overheating. And he's still shield boosting away. Rip frame rate. Frame rate looks okay here. What the hell again? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna move out of the belt.
Let's put some more pips to our engines. There we go. Okay, let's move out of the belt. I can see that I'm getting some issues here. Okay, now we're out of the belt. I hope that's really odd. No, 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 it does. Because I have the same... I was still getting low FPS. Still having issues here. Let me try and see if I can watch the stream as well. Let's try to turn this. I'm just trying to figure out. Wow, there's a lot of delay on the stream. It's back up now. Yeah, now it looks okay. Ah, oh my god, I thought I resolved this. My god. Okay, so here's the deal. I have had this problem before, whenever I go into a belt. Every time I drop into a, uh, into a hashware site, it had a tendency to really just drop the frames badly. Um, and I'm not sure why, because... I've never had this issue before. And try and reduce some of the uh, maybe some of the graphic settings. See if we can uh, go down to a higher preset, preset, lower field of view. Go in here and say texture quality, shadow quality. We turn off the anti-aliasing, maybe. There's really no reason to run, run anti-aliasing on a four full K. Blah, blah. Uh, depth of field, medium, reflection. That's probably... What the hell? No, it's not the CPU. I've actually tested this before. And if I'm looking at my uh, my CPU usage, it's still... It was okay. I'll try to keep this up as well. But I'll try to reduce some of these settings here. With, okay, material quality, galaxy map quality, terrain quality, terrain, 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 terrain jet cone quality, volumetric effect. Let's put that to low, because that's probably something that could take up a lot. FX quality. Okay. Now we're going to do another test, and I'm going to get the stream here so I can see it as well. There we go. Now watching the my own stream, that should be good. Frame rates still look good to me. Let's try to drop into the ring again to see if we can get some... Uh, Okay, just wait here. I'm just gonna turn the ship so I can see. I'm just waiting for the stream to catch up. There's about a 15 to 20 second delay here. Still looks okay to me. Yeah, 
turning around and now I'm beginning now I'm beginning to turn. <laughs> wow. And again, CPU load is still, I mean it's high, it's at 80%, but it's not critical. I mean 80% should definitely be manageable. Okay, I'm gonna try and Did I just lose the frame rate there? No? No, no, still good. Still good here. Okay, you guys keep me posted in... Uh... Guys keep me posted. And I'll... Uh... Oh, that looks pretty. Uh, we have a python that's probably in a wing. No? Mining python? Dangerous Python. Yeah, he's wounded. It's good, but stuttering a bit. Okay, let's see what happens when we go into combat. If it's still bad, then. There we go. CPU loads currently at 85%. What's the frame rate running out of the game? Running smooth. So tell me, what, what does it look like on your end right now? Did the anti-aliasing anti solve it for you? I hope it did. Oh wow, they look very different, the shots now. Okay. There we go. As you can see, I'm not too impressed with these weapons, even though they are firing quickly. It's very difficult, for, at least for me, to keep them on target. Oh, you know what? This this is start this effect started after I began using these weapons. I think it's the weapons. Because the weapons look very different now. Okay, I think I can close down all this monitoring. I hope that we're back to normal. Anyway, let's try to take this guy down. As you can see, the damage output from them is, even though they on paper do a ton of damage, the damage output is not really impressive. Okay, when the rocks are in view, Situations like this, I just think the lasers are a lot more efficient. Yeah, how are the one shields are down? That's what we're gonna find out now. Should probably keep my uh, my eyes on where I'm flying. 
and not that much on chat. Come on. Come on. So this guy would sit still. He's got to get his shields up very quickly and did not get that many shots in. That's one. Switch over to the lasers again. To take down his shields. There we go. As soon as their shields go down, they are beginning to maneuver a lot more trying to avoid damage, which makes sense. But as you can see, I'm not too impressed. Oh, there we go. To do about 4% hull to a dangerous python each time we hit him. There goes the shields up again. So let's try to compare that to just the lasers on their own. So we did about 4% each time we hit him. Which we can do a lot faster with these lasers, especially because they're long range. So just using the lasers on their own is a lot more efficient than using those, uh, at least for me. But let's try something, uh, if we can find something a little bit bigger. How's the frame rate looking for you guys? Is it still bad? Just find the stream here. You see here. Uh, frame rate looks okay, at least when I'm watching it, so that's good. Okay. So a Fertilance is going to be difficult, because it's very maneuverable. But it looks like he's already under fire. <laughs> a little bit bigger. Now he died easily. I have a vulture, another vulture, more vultures. There's a scout here. Let's see if we can find this guy. Clean. So one of, the, one of the vultures must be wounded because someone's getting shot at. You know what? I really miss the. Uh Oh, there's a python again. I really miss the um, the high yield cannons. I might actually go and pick those up again. Oh, he's clean. OK, 
Okay, he's in a wing, so uh, it's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge. Let's try to take this guy down. Oh, no. There we go. Can we hit a vulture with the PAs? Stop by taking down his shield. Come on. There we go. Shields are down. Oh, no. See if we can get a few shots in on this guy. Oh, nice. Ah, come on. Look how far the reticle is off where he is. We're never gonna hit him at this range. Not when he's moving this quickly. Not more fish than just using the lasers. You know what? I'm gonna go. Even though the PAs might be efficient and that that they're not if not with the engineering if, uh, efficient, but even though they might do on paper a lot of damage, I think the drawbacks from I mean, I would actually much rather I have been running this with normal plasma accelerators, and I would much rather use those than this because the normal plasma accelerators you only have to I mean you can line up your shot very carefully and once you've got a good shot you can take it and you will most likely hit um and you'll do a ton of damage and then you have plenty of time to line up your next shot now when you're using the advanced ones here you really have to be able to keep them on target and i guess i just have to realize that i'm not, just not good enough of a pilot to do that so for me at least the advanced plasma accelerators have the drawback that you need to keep on target And this was, I mean, as I said, I've I've been testing these weapons before, um, before the live stream as well, and I got mixed results. And what the hell? Is this? No, okay. He was just spinning out of control. Thought his thrusters were down. Come on. Ah. We can try a new tactic here. Let's try to go out and come back in. See if we can uh, get on a, in a head-on collision with this guy. Even then, can't hit shit. Try again. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get some other weapons because I'm not not too happy with the uh, advanced plasma accelerators they're not as fun as i thought they would be well they are actually a ton of fun because of the fast firing rate but uh not as fun as i'd hoped they would have been i was hoping the damage output would be a little bit higher than they are
Come on. But the long range modifications on the lasers is absolutely wonderful. I mean, look at that. Two kilometers out, and we're still doing some decent damage if we could hit him. There we go. He's gone. Okay, let's go back and let's try and get some uh, some other weapons on this thing and uh, let's see how that uh, that compares. He's not dead yet. What? He's at zero percent. How is he not dead? Really? Do I really have to come back? Okay, he was just about like less than half a percent of hit point of his hit point. Uh let's find Weber Gateway. There we go. While we are moving towards the planet. So someone asked what I normally do when I overshoot. Because I always overshoot. Especially on live streams. Let's just have a quick look at the graphics settings again. I think putting the alien anti-alien thing off was a good idea. And the volumetric thing turning that off as well. Where's that shot? Now, I can't remember if I have any weapons stored in here, or if we have to have them transported, or need to go and get them. I hope I, I hope I have something. I think I have them. Let's, we'll have to wait and see. So let's just shoot, let's just overshoot the station here on purpose, okay? I'm gonna speed up. So now I'm overshooting. What I would then do is I would go close to the planet, because the closer you go to the planet, the more efficient the gravity is slowing you down. So I would come in close to the planet. Or star, or moon, or whatever it is. And then fly back out again. Often you would not be able to stop close to the planet as I was there. You would often completely overshoot the planet. But as going as close to the planet as you can will help you slow down. Docking if you wish to land. Okay. <laughs> Loop of shame on purpose. No, I know. Oops. There we go. Game looks so different now.
colors are a lot more vivid to look at. Okay, let's see what do I have, what I have stored here, or how long it would take to transport some weapons over. We might transport some over uh, just to try them out later, because so far not too uh, too impressed with those. So let's go in here and let's transfer. Let's actually go back here. Let's see what do we have stored. I have a lot stored here. I actually have my cannons. I could use those. And there are my old plasma accelerators. And here are my old multi cannons. They will take about half an hour to transport over, so maybe we should do that. Transfer to the station. Yep. And where was the other? It's a multi cannon. Where the hell did it go? Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. That one. Transfer to the station. I have an overcharged thermal shock. Why do I have that? Okay, fair enough. Let's try the cannons. I have not been using the cannons in a very long time. Transfer. And I remember them being pretty fun. It's still one of my favorite builds for the Corvette, going with the two huge cannons. Closing up, and new weapons on. And in case you don't know, the cannons, of course, both have sturdy mount with high yield. Damage type is, of course, kinetic. So let's try that, see how that performs. Oh, did I restock ammo on these? Ah, uh, they did automatically. Nice. And the firing groups? The mm, fire groups are still okay. Wait, I'm being at. Am I warned? Since when? Okay. Apparently, I must have hit something in the belt. Guess we're just gonna bounce off the neighboring system then, because our bounty only lasts until uh, targets obscured. This should be gone. Yeah, bounty is gone on hyper jump. So let's just uh, leave the system and come back.
Okay, I think Naughty 1 or Naughty 2 has uh, has to sight, so that should be good. And let's try these cannons instead rather than the plasma accelerators. I think they, at least I remember them being pretty fun as well. Which is fun because this actually brings the ship back to very close to its original layout. Um, of course, I still should probably have removed that. I still have the fuel tanks on, which I don't need anymore because now I'm not using a... Uh, yeah, the Naughty 2 has one. Now I'm not using the um, the fuel for uh, for ammo anymore, so I can take off the two fuel tanks, which gives me two extra internal slots I can use for armor or something else. Collect the limpet controller, maybe. I think that's what I had on before. Should I read in the cube combat to the Tiger 88? So here we go, overshooting again. So, going in close to the planet. To drop some of our speed. And then follow the planet around. Got a little bit too close there. You see, I'm still stuck in the gravity well. And I'm actually slowing down faster than... Uh, I'm slowing down because I'm getting further and further, not further, further away, but it's taking longer and longer to get there. Okay, let's see what we have. We have... Ooh, Anaconda. Oh, deadly. That's nice. I can't remember what the uh, fall of is on the cannons, but... Uh, let's target this power plant. Yeah, you can chaff all you want. And he's also shield boosting. Try to keep him below me a bit so that my weapons can have an easier time hitting him. Oh, he's chaffing again. And shield boosting again. Okay, we're so close that I'm just gonna keep him target locked. Because we're still gonna be able to hit him. Even though he's using chaff. Well, he's not firing back. And a shield boosting again. Would you stop that? That's actually pretty annoying.
Oh my gosh. When did this guy run out of shield boosters? You know what? Take that! Come on, stop with the chaff. There we go, I got his power plant. What else should we shoot? Life support? No, okay, never mind. <laughs> See, this is why I like this build. Imperial Clipper. Okay, never mind, he died. Another Imperial Clipper. Let's hope this one lasts a little bit longer. There's already some fighting going on up there. Yeah, he's in a wing of three though. So, remember Pips to shield. And instantly he begins to chaff. Let's untarget him. Almost got his shields. There they go. Find his power plant and let's get the cannons. Nah, not been able to hit his power plant yet. There's one hit. That's a good hit. Look at that. 25% left on that power plant now. Keep his, uh, his armor corroded. He managed to get his shield back. It's okay. We should probably switch back to our lasers then. And back to the cannons. See if we can get that last shot in at that power plant. Waiting for him to stop with the chaff. And... Ah, not quite. Okay, let's quit for... Playing around, just kill this guy. There we go. Okay, he was in a wing with something. Something fairly small.
Almost got his shields now. And... Shields down. Go to the cannons. There we go. That's the final hit. Um, not taking people on to uh, today, but there will probably be open live streams again in the future. But today we're just flying around and testing out some, uh, some weapons. Um, wasn't really going to test the plasma accelerators, but again, not too happy with those to be honest. Oh. Another Imperial Clipper. Um, I'm not gonna go over the whole loadout now. I did go over it in the beginning of the live stream, so you can rewatch it once it's uploaded. It'll be up pretty much right after the live stream has ended, so you can watch it there. Um, and I will also do a finished build video once I'm done upgrading everything. Oh, lasers, of course. Is it just me, or have many of the NPCs begin to chaff a lot more than they used to? One good hit there on the power plant. That's another good hit on the power plant. That went straight into the hole. And he's deploying chaff again. Whoops. Space cow in the way. There we go. And ramming kill. <laughs> oh, that never gets old. Frame rate was dying for a bit there. Okay. I hope it's back again. <laughs> Combat rank is still at dangerous. Should we go for something different this time? See if we can kill one of his drives, maybe? It's probably going to be difficult with the amount of hit points he has left. Yeah. I thought I got two good hits, but it took no damage. So apparently not. There's just a lot of clippers here today. Elite clipper this time. And he's warded.
So let's see how quickly this guy will deploy chaff. Give him a ramp. Ah, I think I'll just strafed him. We go almost got his shields now. And he's shield boosting. I think I can out damage his shield booster. There we go. And let's try to go for the drive this time. Just for fun. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. But the good thing about trying to hit the drives is they're pretty much visible from almost all angles, especially from the front. Ah, they're difficult to... Do we really need to hit them from the back before we can do damage to his drives? Come on. Weapons. The dirty drives does a lot to the maneuverability. I think, at least I could, f I could f feel a noticeable difference when I changed to, uh, to dirty drives. Let's find something else that's a little bit easier to hit. I thought we would be able to penetrate. Um, the drive to the front, but we're not. There's just too much stuff in the way for us to get all the way back to the drives. We're gonna go back and we're gonna look at the power plant here. Got some good hits in there. Not going to do that much damage to the power plant. We did waste a lot of time shooting at his drives, but... Uh there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. If you just get one good hit in, you can really do a lot of damage. And there we go, his power plant is dead. So we're just gonna... Boost into him. There we go, goodbye. 
Python. Oh, let's try something new here. An assault ship. We've not had any assault ships today. Okay, that's good to know, McQuire. That's probably going to be the next I'm going to try out in terms of weapons. Oh, put some pips to shields. Ah, they're firing missiles. I'm really looking forward to those when I get my hands on them. Really? Oh, I think I hit something important there. Look, I got his drives by chance. And his frameshift drive, and his power plant is down to 15%. Look at the amount of internal damage this guy has taken. I just try to catch up to him. Hey, come back here. And he's gone. And shields should almost be down. I don't think there's any reason to go over to the cannons. But we can do it, just for fun of it. Yeah, I was using advanced with plasma slugs. Um, but I moved over to the high yield cannons instead. Because, frankly, I didn't like the plasma slugs too much. Um, I, I like plasma slugs in general. But I didn't like the, um, the advanced PAs. And I was using um, I was using rapid fire on the uh, on the accelerators, which I would pretty much only use on the advanced ones. On the normal ones, I would probably use focused or long range. Oh wait, gunship. Let's try that. Again with the missiles.
These guys actually do some decent damage. Oops, come on. Where's my heat sink? There we go. Oh, there's another gunship. Oh, wow, that's why. Should probably try to keep four pips to shields. There we go. Fastest way to take down shields. And another dropship, okay. Yeah, I do have fighters. Fun with the federal ships, even though I'm not targeting their subsystem, it still seems like I'll do a ton of damage to just random modules. Look at this guy's subsystem, his power plant is dead. Where's the power plant located in these ships? It's quite far to the back. It's funny that I can do so much damage to it anyway. Okay, what's next? Another gunship? Maybe let my shield recharge a little bit. I need to be quick if I want to get some damage on this guy. Plasma, his modules are dying already. Look at that! Ship's almost dead. Let's get a little bit closer before we engage. There we go. It's dead. I have a drop ship. Can take that guy, assuming that he's wounded, of course. He is. He's definitely wounded. That's a two percent pull. <laughs> <laughs> That is dead. <laughs> okay. It seems like his friend didn't like that. Oh, oh, watch what I'm flying. Okay. Eagle? Okay, decide to get a cannon shot in on the eagle. Ah, 
They missed. Oh, there's us, there's us. Boom! One shot! <laughs> Okay, another dropship. Oh, that was the dropship we were looking at before we wanted to kill. Until we were rudely interrupted by an eagle. And he is together with... The two Asp scouts next to him. So we're just gonna go... All pips to shield, to engines, boost. All pips to shield, fire the cannons, hit him again. Fire the cannons, fire the cannons. Come on. Hit him. There we go. How's the subsystems doing? Ah, his power plant is dead. Oh, no wait, he's dead. Then we have the two scouts. Ah, they're probably gonna be a little bit more difficult because they're so quick. This is a point where I would consider taking out the fighters. But it looks like we're okay. Ah, come on. I want to get a cannon shot in this guy's well. And where is he? Come on, come on, come on. Let's go on, try to strafe around him. There we go. Difficult to hit these small ships. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Ah, didn't kill him. There we go. That's the one. I am not in open. I'm in a... Uh, I think I'm in solo right now. Okay, I've run out of stuff to shoot at. And I am at the very edge of uh, the conflict zone, so let's move back towards the center here. There's some fighting going on down here, let's move down to see what's going on. Uh, I have one shot left in one of the cannons. Oh! No more cannon ammo! Can we synthesize it? No. That means we have to head back to the station. And we can probably change out the weapons. The... What time is it? Yeah. The Multi cannon should be here by now. How can I tell what the center of the conflict zone is? Well, I would normally use the beacon that shows up in the middle. Yes, there's a navigation point. And if you get more than 20 kilometers away from that, you're no longer in the conflict zone or the hazmat site or whatever you're in. I think conflict zones actually extend further, but hazmat sites at least are 20 kilometers in radius. Okay, so... While we are heading back, um, remember to, uh, to give the stream a like, and if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do. Um, I also have a Discord server where there's a very active community. We have both um, sometimes open live streams where we'll invite people from the channel's community on and it will only be announced um, on Discord. So you can come by there. And we also host uh, closed off events. We actually have one next week where uh, only members of the community can, can come because it's only going to be announced in there. So uh, if you want to be part of that community, come by Discord. Um, and as you can see right below the, uh, the lower banner right now, if you want to support the channel more directly, you can either make a one-time donation or you can become a Patreon, um, which would mean a lot to me. So, 
Let's get back to the station and let's try to. I mean, uh, I still, I still really like this weapon loadout. To this day, it's still one of my favorite weapons, just because all those dead power plants. Oh, can we make it in here between the planet and the ring? Like that. There we go. But that's the main issue with the with the cannon build. Is it runs out of ammo pretty quickly, and I think it counts as high velocity. An iron of an eighty is not that bad. Not that bad. It's fairly easy to get, to be honest. Okay, scrub in. Come on, almost there. Oh, yeah, I should probably say as uh, as always. Now that the the stream is gonna start a, start a little bit earlier, so uh, we are gonna go and have a uh, an after party on Discord afterwards, where I uh, would love to see as many of you guys there. Um, we are usually we usually hold these on the community after live streams where. People would gather up and we then play whatever games we feel like, or just sit and have a good, uh, good talk. Um, so yeah, remember to come by Discord and uh, and say hi after the stream. And get ready to get this on the landing pad. Nope, overshot it a little bit. There we go. Refuel, repair, restock on ammo. Let's see if our weapons have arrived or if they're still on their way. I think it was just over half an hour, which means they should be here. Should is the important part of that sentence. More people following me on Twitch, which is really weird, since I've never done a single Twitch live stream. Uh, no, 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 not here. Back. Oh, I still have that stuff in the description. Oh yeah, that's uh yeah, thank you. Hold on, let me just remove that real quick. There we go. It was uh, still had some of the stuff from the ten-hour live stream stuck in the description. <laughs> okay, uh, stored modules. Yes, multi cannons are here. Oh, hold on, that's thermal shock. We need the one with incendiary rounds. And let's transfer this over. Let's try these weapons out instead. Pack away the cannons, which we still have to watch. Frontier. I'm not saying, but quality of life stuff. This would be really nice. Transfer to ship. Cannon. Transfer. 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 
No, sorry, Blob, there's no more giveaways. At least not until... I don't know. <laughs> 20? 25? Uh, okay, that was the thermal... I don't know why I have a thermal shock. I probably used that for a... Must have been some... I don't know. Test. I could probably get rid of that. Anyway. Let's try some multi-cannons. We could probably find our destination now to save a little bit of time when we get out. Go. Yes, still rocking those Christmas lights. Not gonna get rid of those anytime soon. We could actually make this a lot more Christmas ish if we wanted to. Hold on. See, now this is not good. Headset and... There we go. I should probably have this on the other side, to be honest, because I'm always looking over to my right to look at the screen. There we go. There we go. Now we have a Christmas live stream. I would agree that the Christmas lights are a little pricey, to be honest, um, but again, I hope we're going to see more of these, I mean, options to put in this cosmetic slot or library slot or whatever you want to call it, um, because it's a great idea. Uh, we have cruise liners in the system. Oh, almost there. Come on. Okay, there we go. So, what do we have to shoot at? Ooh, and a condor and a clipper. Elite and a condor. And he's wounded. Perfect. Try and get a ram. See if we can't get a ram in on this guy. I'll go like that, so it's a little bit easier to hit. Boosting. Boosting. Hold the boost until we are a little bit closer. So we can get full speed ahead. 
That was not a lot of damage. It's not a good position because he's above me. I need to have him below me so I can hit him with my big laser cannon. That's much better. Keep this guy pinned. As long as we're here on this side, he can't, he can't do a lot. Okay, let's get some distance so we can do another boost. Ram him again. And again, this guy is just going crazy with the here uh, with the shield cell banks. Look at all those! Look at him just constantly firing shield cell banks. I have no idea how this guy is not overheating. Or well, it seems like he actually is because he's beginning to take module damage. I've actually taken more <laughs> more shield damage now than he has, but I do suspect that he's running out of shield cell banks pretty quickly right now. Okay, try to get out of this turning wall with this guy. Oh, this guy is firing railguns. Ah, missed him. And he's using turrets. Okay, I think he's out of shield cell banks now because now his shields are dropping. They're dropping pretty quickly. That's the shields. As you can see, these this is a very good hull damage build. It doesn't do that much damage to uh, to internal modules. You see, we haven't really done a lot of, of internal damage, but they do a lot of hull damage. There you go. So again, let them really depends what you want to do, uh, to fight. If you plan to fight bigger ships, and if you like to snipe the power plants, then I will get to go for the cannon build. Um, multi cannons again works well on smaller ships. We'll see if we can fight some smaller ships a little bit later. So we can try that out as well. For now, I'm just gonna kill myself. A. Let's actually try and target his uh, his power plant just to see how much damage we can actually do to the power plant. There we go. And he's deploying chaff. As you can see here with the with the multi cannons, we're doing a lot more hull damage. 
Oops. Then we're doing module damage. Let's find something small. Assault ship. I know it's not a small ship, but... It's okay. Deadly, deadly assault ship. I hope he's wounded. Yes, he is. Lasers first. Oh, wow. Overshot. Quite badly there. First, we have to get this guy's shields down so we can see what the multi cannons can do when it comes to hull. Ah, and they're on reload. Perfect timing. Now, my small multi cannons are on reload. There we go. As you can see, it's a lot more consistent damage output that you get. And I can make do... This is what I like about this build. You can make do with just having two pips, two weapons. And even though I'm firing pretty much everything I got, apart from the lasers, of course, it doesn't really matter. Oh, hold on. We have a uh, clipper here attacking someone. Oh, she's attacking a space cow. Save the space cow. Hold out, space cow. I will save you. Oops. I think I hit the space cow. Yep, I did. And now I'm wounded. Damn it, I was just trying to save the space cow. Ah, come on. No, I refuse. I will not shoot the space cow. Nana Carter, I'll kill that instead. Oh, it's right there. Master Anaconda, and he's looking at the space cow as well. Space cow, please stop shooting me. Ah, I was sure I would have hit that guy. Oh, he's launching fighters. I think my bounce is very low. I mean, I'm, I only hit him once. It's probably 400 credits or something. Oh, the space cow is gone. So it's, let's see how much bounty I got. So yeah, again, one hit, 400 credits. So it's not that bad. We'll have to wait seven minutes and we'll leave the system and come back. In the meantime, we can kill some more anacondas.
Laser, laser, laser. Now he's shield boosting. And I'm out of engine power. Well, weapon power, of course. And my shields are getting low, and he's shield boosting again. There we go. Finally got him again. And... Is he dead? I think he's dead. My shields are very low though. Two gunships and a dropship. That looks like a wing to me. And not a wing I want to take on right now. Unless they're being attacked. Then we could definitely take them on. No, he's clean. Being attacked by the dropship. Okay. Who's then probably not clean. And not in the wing. Okay. So, so far of the three different main weapon loadouts we've been trying today, I think the multi-cannons are the most, uh, the most consistent source of damage. Um, but I think the cannons are the most entertaining to fly. Wow, look at that. He broke in two. With all the gunships, look at that. Gunship, gunship, gunship. Ah, he's wounded as well. How much time do I have left? Four minutes. On the bounty. He's almost, he is in range of my lasers. Look at that. It's difficult to hit at this range, but. Just came to say hi. Kill those pirates, mate. <laughs> Thank you, matey. I am, unless, or they may be killing me, I don't know. My shields are getting a little low. And multi cannons. Five percent. I th thought I remembered reading somewhere that the NPCs would that the Frontier had a patch a while back where they had a where they wanted to have the NPCs shoot missiles a lot less or not at all when you still have your shields up because missiles are hopefully ineffective against shields. But apparently not. Oh, are we lucky? Nope. Oh, where did he go? I just lost contact with that python. There he is. I hope this guy is dangerous. Ah, okay, he's elite. Okay, so we had the python at the beginning where we would do about 4-5% damage to the hull of the python. Um, with the plasma accelerators every time we hit. Hello mate and welcome to the channel. 
Um, but before an attack of wing of three, I most likely want to fire off a shield seal bank. And another one. And take a little bit of heat damage. There we go. But just to get some shields back, what is he flying together with? Sidewinders. So let's see how much hull damage, how quickly we can do 4% hull damage with, uh, with the multi cannons here. Just gonna get his shields down real quick. How are the frame rates, by the way? And we still have issues when, uh, when we're fighting stuff. Wow, he was boosting that up quickly. And she's reducing chaff. And shield boosters. And this is gonna take a while. I really feel like the game needs a proper counter for, uh, for chaff. I mean, I know, yes, fixed weapons. If you come against fixed weapon, chaff is useless. But still. If there were some engineering modification that allowed the weapons to log on while they uh, while an enemy was using chaff and yet still were gimbled but you would then lose I don't know 10 20 percent damage or something like that or maybe use range because they need a higher accuracy sensor or something like that would probably be probably the damage uh, maybe a little bit of damage loss and and he managed to boost all the way up again a little bit of damage loss and some uh, loss in uh, in range would probably be uh, be fair, I would say. How many shield boosters does this guy have? He's done nothing for the last five minutes but to launch shield boosters. Not shield boosters, shield cell banks. Almost got his shields now. Good, good, good. Shields are down. Okay, so let's see how quickly we can do 4% hull damage. Look at that. Look how quickly his hull is dropping compared to when we're using the plasma accelerators. I don't know. I feel they are way, way underpowered when it comes to PvE. They might be good in PvP, or if you're a very good fixed weapon pilot, they might also be quite useful. But for me, um, no. Sidewinder is dead. Now we have a ton of clippers again. These builds are very good at the moment. What? Is that a wing of three clippers? Really? Hmm. 
No, that's he's not in the wing. There was another clip very close. There we go, two kilometers. So he's part of the wing. Not for long, but... So what was the two others? Okay, so it's two clippers and a python. Wow. Okay. Are you done? Yes, he's done. And then we just have the python left. So let's see how many shield cell banks this guy has. That's the first one. Where's the second one? You need to be quick now if you want to get that shield cell bank off. Nope. Okay. Ugh, managed to deselect her as a target. Perfect. And look at this, this is the damage just from the small multi cannons. I'm not firing the main weapons, and I'm still doing more damage than the advanced plasma accelerators. And again, it's because I'm not very good at hitting with them, but at applied DPS, you just gain so much more. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna jump and get rid of that bounty. That should be gone by now. Yes, on hyper jump or hide bit. Highway out. So let's get out of the system and let's get back in. Mods on the multi cannons are. Uh, incendiary routes, which means they should be decent against shields as well. Um, but in general, I like them. I think they are one of the best modifications when it comes to uh, to multi cannons. Assuming you have corrosive sh shell somewhere else, because I run two small multi cannons, one with corrosive shell and one with uh, emission munition. Um, so that's why I can allow myself to use incendiary rounds on the large boots of the huge multi cannons.
Yeah, the new ships definitely get a uh, an upper hand. They uh, it really I think it's really amazing how much extra damage you can, how much extra potential you get out of your ship by engineering it. I I always feel like my that the ships are lacking a bit if I don't engineer them. Um, and I mean as it should. I mean it's it's it should take time to build a new ship. It, I mean otherwise if you just have to gain the modules, it would literally take. 10 minutes to make a new ship. Go to Shinrata Deshra if you have access to the system. On another well-stocked well system, put all the modules together and you're good to go. Anyway, let's head back to, uh, to Weber Gateway and... Um oh, whoa, that was way closer than I thought it would be. A little bit. Oh, can we make it? No, we can't. Don't risk it. How much bounty did I collect so far? I haven't looked at that either. That's okay. Just over 3 million. For bounty hunting, that's decent. And remember guys, if you have not given the stream a like, please go down below the stream and give it a like. And also come by Discord and uh, join the community around the channel. There's a lot of uh, activities going on with closed community events and community live streams where we bring people on and we do something together on a live stream. Um, which happens from time to time. And also there's just a nice place to hang out. We play games pretty much every day. And uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed to the channel, do that as well. And if you want to support the, um, the videos I do, support the channel in general, support the community, you can either make a one-time donation or um, become a Patreon. Links for everything is, uh, is in the description. Hey, thanks a lot for subscribing and welcome to the channel. And as always, as soon as the stream is over, there will be a uh, small after party over there where you can come over and say hi. I'm gonna stay around for a bit and, uh, and have a talk with you guys. With a gateway, request docking. Do I like the effective DPS of the multi cannons rather than the advanced PAs? Yes, definitely. I I was not a big fan of I've, I've been trying them now tried it for the first half hour three quarters of an hour of the live stream and I have been using them for some hours before that just to make uh, just to make a little bit of an opinion to so know kind of what I should expect and I'm not too impressed with them um, they're very fun the fast fire rate is pretty funny but apart from that I mean. Your applied DPS is not going to be very high. Your sheep DPS is going to be decent. But applied DPS is not so much. Unless you're in a PvP situation against someone who's running from you. Then they might actually be, um, be effective. But for PvE, I would not recommend them. Let's go and see how much we made here. 3.2 million. Yeah, let's pay off our fines. Let's collect our bounties. We go. Incoming message. Incoming message. Hey, got reputation back. Nice. But I think I'm going to call it for um, for today and for this live stream. Um, so I hope we'll see a lot of you guys on uh, on Discord. Um, thanks a lot for all you guys who've been here, been uh, been watching, and uh, until next time, I hope I'll see you guys in space.